morning everyone. I just want to say before we get started that today's video is sponsored by Shopify, which is like my favorite thing ever. Uh, we're not going to talk about it yet, but we're going to talk about it later. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to sort myself out and I'll see you in a minute. I am so jet lagged. It's insane. Um, I was away for a little personal vacay and there was a there's an eight hour time difference. So when I got home, I honestly like, I was completely upside down. I did not know what day of the week, what, like it was crazy. It was so weird. I didn't sleep for like three days. I got home on Friday, so now it's Tuesday. And I'm just, last night I had the, the like a full night's sleep. So that was kind of weird and annoying, but totally worth it. You know when you get back from a holiday, you just like need a full blown MOT. <laughs> Like, I, um, I'm going to get a facial and I'm going to get my eyebrows done because I genuinely feel like I can't go on until those two things happen and then I'm going to be just fine. So it's 8.30, my appointment's at 9 and I'll be home before anyone even realizes I'm gone. It feels like summer's kind of coming to an end. I always get kind of like... I don't know, the world, The word isn't really nostalgic, but I guess it is. It's like I get a bit nostalgic about, I'm like, wow, it's like really over? I don't know, I think like at the beginning of summer you always have these like big plans and then it's the end of the summer and you're like, did I accomplish everything I really wanted to? Like, I wanted to read like five books this summer. Did I do that? No. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to skin work in Soho and I, I really love their facials, so I'm excited to do that. Um, and also my sunglasses, I love these. They're from um, Jimmy Fairley, but I think they're like, I think you can only get like limited edition. I don't think these are, are available all the time, which is super annoying because I love the shape. So this is skin work. It's here in Soho. And when you walk in, it's like this little clean sanctuary. There's so much space in here, I love it. And maybe I'll just do my outfit of the day. I'm wearing a big loose dress from Studio Nicholson and I'm wearing these shoes from Dear Francis. And I've also got my brand new Bottega bag and my tote. So I'm just prepping your skin for the heat mask right now. So this will just liquefy the sebum to make it a lot easier for the extractions. Okay. Liquefy the sebum. Okay, I just had my facial, looking good. This is Erin. You just did my facial. Sissy cleanse today. You guys have to try it. It's the only facial I really get here. It's got the galvanic mask. Yeah. I don't really know what that does. The perfecting peel, which yeah. makes your skin super glowy. The peel, the extractions. It's like, I always feel like skin work is a place you can go for like, it's like, when you go to the hygienist at the dentist, it's like this is that for your face. It like gets you You've to where you need. You've got your relaxing element to sort of your yeah. massage, but we're also very results driven. It's like great results. And where did you learn to massage? You are the queen of- Cow shed. Really? I must say that was cow shed. Yeah. Okay, cause I was like, that's like di a different level. Okay, I knew something was up. <laughs> we're tinting the brows. So I go for light brown. Um, Everyone always tells me I should have medium brown, but I like light brown, and then we leave it on for a bit longer. Okay, I'm feeling much better, and if you're wondering, the during the facial she didn't do this part because I told her I was getting my eyebrows done, so just in case you were wondering, I now need to somehow reverse out of this spot. People walking around. And now I'm going to a UPS pickup point because I got some stuff dropped off there. I ordered a bunch of Mirror Water stickers and I was away when they got delivered so now they're at a UPS access point. Isn't my life interesting, guys? You claim you wanna see this stuff, but it truly is dull. So let's see if they have it. I was actually supposed to pick it up yesterday. I didn't realize until today. So hopefully they still have it and it hasn't gone to the depths of the UPS ether. So I just got home and I'm gonna have some lunch. I had tacos last night, so I'm just gonna reheat the leftovers and have a little taco. I'm so looking, oh, 
Does she want a taco? It's a new day. I just had a beautiful shower. Felt so good. And I thought I'd just quickly do my skincare routine. The Mamiel Dewy Facial Mist. It smells so good. This serum from Vichy is so good. It is um, a hyaluronic acid like plumping serum. And this is my second bottle. It's I literally like slather this on. My skin is so dry and dehydrated. And yesterday at my facial, she even said it was really dehydrated. So I'm just gonna double down on the hyaluronic acid. Shantikai eye cream. I love eye creams with this applicator because you can like squeeze it. I just, I think you can like use the applicator to apply it, but I usually just use my fingertips. Next up, the Medic 8 Moisturizer. This has SPF 50 in it. This is for when I'm being kind of lazy and I just want a moisturizer with sunscreen in it. I'm obsessed with Medic 8. I love their skincare. Okay, and then, I know, this mess is insane, but anyways, that's just what is happening in my life right now. I wanted to show you a little tip and trick I've been doing. So, I've been taking my like regular um, unfragranced body cream. This is from Biosense. So just whatever like unfragranced body cream that you have, put a little in my hand and then I'm taking Smooth, which is Mirror Waters body oil because I love the scent. Uh, and I'm just adding like a drop or two into the body cream. And it basically makes your body oil and your body moisturizer last for like double the length of time. But I love the smell, so that's why I wanna use a little bit of oil um, because I love the smell and it gives you like just a little bit of hy extra hydration without like using so much of your body oil because I literally like go through this like water because I wear it every single day. But I just thought if any of you wanted that little tip, um, it's a good one. Making my own products has been a blessing and a curse because it's the only product I want to use. It's like my body oil. It's it literally is like my perfect body oil. I'm gonna keep my makeup quite on the minimal side. Just using some tinted moisturizer from NARS. This is the shade three, light three. Just gonna try to cover up this spot. I have to take little Effie to the vets, and I'm so sad. Um, it's just like a a checkup and she needs to get her like vaccinations like her boosters um, feels like yesterday I was taking her last August but anyway time does fly and she hates it so much of course she hates it she's so scared to go in there but she's gonna be a brave girl and I'm honestly obsessed with this beauty pie bronzer the refillable one I mentioned one of my last videos. It's gonna be hot today, but it's gonna be overcast. But we still want that little bronzy glow. I'm just gonna slightly fill in my brows with this Anastasia brow pencil. I got them tinted yesterday, but I don't have much hair. So I always like to like fill in the ends a little bit. I might have to go to the mirror. And then I'm gonna put some blank tinted brow gel in, and this is the shade Chai. All right, Miss Lady is over here, and we are about to go to the vets, but there's a little park here. Gosh, the grass is so dead. And um, I always like to take her for a little walk before we go in. She likes sniffing around in here. I think because like all the dogs go for a walk before they go to the vet. Hello, lady. You're gonna be Miss Brave today. She did such a good job. Oh my gosh. It's always like this is now gonna ruin Effie's day to have been to the vet, but um Effie's vet is so nice. Her name's Emily and Effie's just so nervous and I think like people just don't <laughs> Quite get it, but like when she's in the vets, she's even like another level of scared But um, she's not aggressive at all. She's just like very very scared, but she had a little vaccine and she had a checkup and um, the vet was like, her heart is racing. <laughs> it's kind of hard to like measure her um, like blood pressure and her, her heart and stuff because she's so nervous when she goes in there. But um, they said that she looks good. Effie is on like medication for her anxiety. And um, we're just kind of talking about maybe switching it because she's been on it for like 
two years and she's still like so scared. Um, so if any of you have any experience with nervous animals that take medication for it, I would love to know what your experience is. The one she is on now is um, kind of a weird one, but my vet is talking about one called Floexetine or something. So if any of you have any pets that are on it, let me know because I just want Effie to live like her happiest life. Um, and that being said, that in probably involves me moving. I'm thinking about moving, um, still in London, but I'm thinking about moving to, I, I mean, it's just such a journey. I might rent somewhere that's just like a different layout. I'm thinking a house with a garden. I don't know where I'm gonna find that, but um, she just needs quiet time. And I think like in my flat, like going up and down the lift all the time. First of all, it's, it's exhausting for me and it's kind of exhausting for her because there's like tons of people around and it's just sort of stressful. So that's what I'm thinking as if I don't have enough on my plate, I'm thinking about moving, but I've been thinking about it for a while now and there's never a good time. You know, there is never a good time to move. So I'll keep you in the loop. Silly me forgot my vlog camera, but I'm going out. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. I'm going out for dinner with um, a girl called Chris. And by the way, I'm gonna link this dress um, below because it's so comfy. Um, I got it from Collagerie. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna meet her for some food and most importantly, some wine. I've been working today and I'm ready for some wine. Okay, so I'm here with Chris. Oh, right. oh you look gorgeous. Oh my God, it must be the light. It is the light, baby. Um, and we've got our wine. Yeah. We've got matching bags too. Yeah. Same color and it's delicious. So you are a photographer and freelance photographer, yeah. but a full time marketer. See people, you can do it all. You can do it all. Yes. If you really put passion towards it and you don't mind working. Yeah. You know. She's a workaholic. Oh, Saturday mornings, you know. Sunday, my favorite day to work. Yeah. <laughs> After a practice class. It's not yeah. normal, but I love it. <laughs> I used to do this thing where I didn't work on weekends, but those days are gone. Oh no. They're not but happening. Those anymore. are the days that I'm more creative. Yes. Like on the weekends, like Me too. waking up on a Saturday and just doing a little bit of exercise, yeah. coming back and going and like do my with your coffee. Yeah, with my coffee and start like playing around with whatever objects I have at home. I agree. Getting Ready a magazine out. Sorry. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. I just kind of did my makeup and <sighs> attempted to do my hair. Um, I have a little bit of time to just work before I go uh, out today for a meeting. I thought I would just talk about Shopify, like I said in the beginning of the video. I was gonna talk about Shopify. So first and foremost, you guys know by now that I've started my own company, uh, another company called Mirror Water. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the process of like what it was like to get started with that. So I think like when I talk to a lot of people who want to start a business or, you know, want to start selling products and things like that. They're always like, I don't know where to start. And I think that was a huge hurdle for me to cross as well. Like, how do I actually, first of all, make the products and then how do I sell the products? Um, it just felt so daunting and difficult and I've never done anything like that before. Simply put, Shopify is an all-in-one commerce platform that anyone can use even if you don't have technical skills like I do not. It allows you to create, grow, and manage your business. If you use Shopify, you can sell online, you can also sell in person, and you can sell on major social media platforms. So if you go on our Instagram, for instance, at mirrorwater.earth, follow us, um, you can actually shop via 
Instagram and that's all done via Shopify. So Shopify is really important because you need to be able to plug all of this stuff in and it's just, it's honestly seamless. I know a lot of people that have their own brands and everyone that I know recommended Shopify to me. So immediately I was like, okay, well I'm obviously gonna do this on Shopify. Everyone was like, it's the easiest thing to use. Anyone can use it. Like I find these things really difficult. I'm not very tech savvy, but people were telling me like, you can do this and they have tons of plugins that you can like add to your site to customize and kind of build it up from there and what I really liked about Shopify was that it was affordable especially in the early days when you don't need all the bells and whistles you just need like an online shop front it has everything you need in a way that's like completely digestible and you're able to use it. Like I said, I know tons of people who use Shopify, even like bigger companies that you would never think, you know, you would think, I don't know, I always just thought like they had their own platform and everything like that, but Shopify is so good that even much bigger companies carry on using it because it is just so amazing. It is, when I say it's my favorite app, it is my favorite app. I'm addicted to Shopify. But it really does allow entrepreneurs like me in the UK and all around the world to start their own businesses. Since launching Mirror Water, I've learned that there are just so many things that you need to do and you do not have time to be worrying about the back end of your online store. And that is what Shopify does. It just ticks away in the background. You know it's doing its thing and that gives you more time to focus on other things like creating products or you know dealing with marketing so it is honestly like the best thing ever i have the app on my phone and i use it on desktop as well and i want to just show you a few of my favorite things about shopify without like showing you everything because you know some things i must keep private it talks about your conversion rate what places are driving the most traffic to your website so instagram drives the most traffic to our website so it like tells you a bit about that so I like all of those statistics because you can kind of like plan for that it tells you who your top customers are um, which is always nice to like reach out to the top customers and be like hey like thank you so much and maybe offer them a little gift it obviously tells you like where people are shopping from um, what people are viewing on your website so if you go on my website, you can see that I have like blog posts and things like that that aren't necessarily to do with just shopping. That's all hosted on Shopify as well. So it can kind of tell you like, okay, this many people came to the homepage and then they clicked on this page and then they read this blog post. So it's just really interesting to see. And then we have like stats like this. Visitors who added the everyday pouch to their cart were 38% more likely to add the everyday tote. So you get little things like that that are just really useful. So this is like a little look at the app. So you have like customers. So anytime I need to learn about like an order or a customer. Okay, Chloe keeps texting me. <laughs> anytime I'm looking at uh, an order or something like that, I can click on customers and kind of sort that out there. Analytics, like I was mentioning. We've got marketing, discounts. So it's really easy to make a discount. So for instance, I made this discount, Take Care 30. That's um, an automatic discount, which gives people 30% off a specific set of products um, from this date to this date. And that's just gonna be an automatic discount, which is really easy. You just set it up and there you go. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to show you payouts, but you can see like, how much you're making each month and all your statements there. Okay, apps. Um, we have a few apps. So for instance, we have InstaFeed. This is our Instagram feed, obviously. Um, Klaviyo, which is what we use for our newsletters. Um, we've just got like our product reviews. This is a handy little app to have because I obviously want people to be able to review. Um, worth it. I tried it for the first time today and have to say it's the best exfoliator I've ever tried. Oh my god, amazing. I haven't even seen this. Oh, it's because it's not published yet. That's so nice. Thank you, Sarahi. I love this positivity. Anyway, I think it's just really interesting because like obviously most people just go on our website and see like our website, right? But they don't see like how it was built and they can't, you know, they usually don't see that kind of a, a thing. But all of this is done on the Shopify platform and I truly like 
love it. I have no issues with it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box and I would really encourage you to check it out if you're thinking about setting up your own business and have been kind of wondering you know, how do I do this? Um, Shopify truly does make it easy and I'm so excited to be working with them because it's like my dream. Truly, like launching this company has taught me so much and I think just like using tools that make you feel empowered is so important and that is what Shopify has done for me. It's made me feel like I can actually do this and I know that probably sounds cheesy but genuinely love it and um, like I said, all of my friends, they love it too. So whenever I like talk to my friends, they're like, oh my God, I know, like aren't you addicted to the app? I'm like, yes, I'm addicted. It's like better than like TikTok for me. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's all for now about Shopify but I'm gonna be keeping you updated on my Shopify life. Um, but for now, I need to go put some real clothes on and go to a meeting. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, I have a kind of very important meeting. Um, sorry, I'm listening to the Mirror Water Summertime Sadness playlist and I love it. Um, yeah, it's like a kind of semi-important meeting. That's why I'm like wearing a blouse. Um, and it's 40 minutes away from here. So I hope I'm not gonna be late. I just had to pop by the office to pick up some stuff um, to bring to the meeting. And I'm heading there now. It is pouring rain. Um, it hasn't rained in London in a long time. So like we kind of need it, but it's like the one time I have to leave my flat. Um, so that is where I'm going. Am I nervous for this meeting? Yes. Can I tell you what it is? No. But maybe if it works out, I can. <laughs> Fingers crossed for me. Just send me positive energy. So Rebecca just came over and gave me my birthday present, which is this sculpture of Effie, and Effie loves it for some reason. Yes, it's you. It's you. I know, beautiful. That is so nice. Thank you. It's Friday, and unfortunately I have an appointment at the tattoo laser removal place. So if you don't know, I'm getting my tattoos removed. Um, this one has much further to go. This one's actually doing quite well. And I'm also gonna get the one on my ribs, if you can see it, removed. Because, unfortunately, it's just like turned into like a big blob. When I first got it done, it was like all very intricate. And I think that's the thing with like a lot of tattoos. It's like they look really good when you first get them done and then a year or two goes by and it's just like bleh and it's really sad. So if you've never seen that tattoo, it's um, for my little dog, Reggie. Uh, rest in peace, my greyhound. And um, yeah, I wanted to get something to remember him by, but honestly, I don't know. It, if, you, if you can't even tell what it is, it's like these long bits of grass that um, were on his favorite beach, which is Camber Sands. Um, but I've realized like I don't need a tattoo to remember him. He's in my heart. So um, I'm just I just want all my tattoos off. You know, it's like there's just something in me. I want them all gone and it really, really hurts. So it's my first session for this one. And then I think it's my third for this one. So <sighs> it's really painful. <laughs> it seriously is so painful. But I'm going to take two aspirin or paracetamol, depending on where you live. Um, to like help with the pain. Apparently it helps, but I don't see it helping that much. You're gonna feel the cold air first, okay? Yes, I love the cold air. Would you like a stress ball in your hands as well? Yes, I've never been offered that. There you go. Thank you. Okay, stress ball. Oh. Ah. No! I scream. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I am so scared, sorry. Yes, okay, we are going to Otherwise, I'm going to face. Yeah, right. Nope, let's just get this thing done. Oh my. Oh, boy. Oh, 
honestly, that was not okay. <laughs> that hurt so much. I did not film um, the one on my ribs because I just knew it was gonna be a lot and plus my boobies were exposed, so nobody wants to see that. Um, but that one hurt the most. It was so painful, like my arms even started shaking because I was like, going into like a type of shock. It's like torture, it's honestly like torture. She was saying that um, some people even like punch the walls, like swear at her. And I, I totally understand how it happens. Like you, you're not yourself when that's happening. Um, anyway, I'm going home now. We have a team meeting every week at Mirror Water. So usually it's on like Tuesdays, but this week it's on a Friday. So I'm gonna go home for that. And it's basically like, we've kind of all been like off on holiday for the past couple of weeks. Oh my God, I literally was like, what is in my back seat? But it was the car behind me. <laughs> I am the biggest scaredy cat. I am such a scaredy cat. I was like, who's in my car? <laughs> yeah, so we have a lot to catch up on. It'll be like an hour and a half. Google Meets all about what's happening, what's coming up, like what's going on with certain projects. And um, I'm weirdly looking forward to it. I also just forgot to say I stopped at Store Street Espresso, which if you haven't been, um, is a really nice place. And it's like a couple doors down, there's Cafe Deco, which is also really, really nice. So if you are in that area, um, or just maybe like mark it on your map, if you're ever gonna come to London, it's a cute little place. I got a chai latte. All right, Friday night, we've done it. And I just went to a Pilates class. Which was really hard, because I haven't done Pilates in a long time. I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me, and then I'm gonna grab a chicken wrap on my way home, and I'm gonna eat it, and I'm gonna watch a movie. So, thanks for coming along, and I'll see you next time. Bye!